and what is going on YouTube? Just another gaming channel bringing you just another video. So guys, we have got one of two new armor sets. Well, not new armor sets, but complete armor sets. Uh, I finally got the final piece to the Errant Knight. Uh, is it Errant Knight? Whatever. I think it's the Errant Knight set, which I'll be showing later. Currently, we will be showing the Icarus Drifter set. Now, I hate the colour. I hate the colour guys, it's horrible, it's gross, so we're going to look at this set and then we're going to apply a couple of nice, we're not going to go through all the shaders again like we did with the original legendary armour set, we'll go through some legendary ones, I wasn't going to buy silver but I'm going to buy it because I want those medallions, to be honest, I was a bit concerned about not having three coins and I'm like, oh you know, exotics drop a lot less, they do drop a lot less and so do legendaries, but I've just counted my legendaries on my uh, hunter and I've got 12, uh, 12, sorry, exotics, I've got 12 exotics. Um, that includes three I bought from Zer, so eight to nine exotics in total, uh, not not Zer based. And um, I was a bit concerned about the medallions. I was like, hoping for exotics dropping, uh, hoping for better rewards from the chests. That doesn't seem to happen. But what does happen is legendaries seem to drop from random enemies more often while you're doing a public event. Um, you know, I, I jumped on earlier for two and a half hours and don't we a bright and ground from up, up, upgrading and five legendaries. The day before I ended up with an exotic and four legendaries. So you know, it seems to be working. Yeah, you know, not bad. Anyway, let's look at this armor set now, guys. It's not a bad looking armor set. I like the cloak. Um I think in a different colour it could look good, but it looks like a piece of shit in this this horrible colour. But let's have a look at the Icarus Drift Drifter mask. So here we are, so it's got additional resilience built in, so there you can see the stats down on the bottom right. Uh, double resistance and uh, some ammo built in, that's because of this intrinsic perk. So there's the increased resilience as well, and you can swap that out for health recovery if you want. Uh, it comes with increased arm resilience, allowing you to absorb Wow, there's an impact absorbance mod, that's the first time I've seen that. Okay, maybe it's not, because it looks like there's... Holy shit. There's even more. Okay, I didn't know that, so that's interesting. So the mask itself, uh, it's okay. I mean, it looks a cross between a, a BMX, a 1990s X Games BMX helmet with a mask guard piece and uh, a f current modern day fighter jet pilot when he's using his sun visor. Um, it's, it's okay. I mean, the, the brown and white and green is horrible. I don't know who thought this would be a good set of colours. Boy, were they wrong. Boy, boy, were they wrong. And um, it's okay. I don't think it's something I'd wear often. I might just wear it for a change. Like I said, I've had a quick preview for some, through some of the uh, um, shaders, and it looks a lot better in different shaders. But again, it's not It's not the best-looking set. I mean, I like the fact that I've got another full set. You know, I'm enjoying that. So let's look at the Drifter grips. Here we go, the arm pieces. So again, additional resilience or more mobility. Or more resistance, so we've got additional mobility there. Or we can remove that and add the uh, resilience. So, what perks can what, what can we actually add to this? Arc melee recharge faster, void grenades recharge faster. So, what I've decided to do is I'm going to have each set of each full set of armor that I've eventually got. Um, I'm going to have one that's all uh, if I can, I'm going to mod it out. We have a cylindrical marks to boost my overall level plus five for each armor piece, plus five for each weapon. Uh, but until then, I'm going to have class specific, so as many arc piece upgrades on as I can on one set. I have one set for void, one set for solar, and then I'll start to have sets that are based on all the weapons, additional resilience maybe, uh, reload speeds, handling handling, and things like that. Sorry about that. Um, so the grips, uh, they're okay. Uh, again, it's the colour man that really spoils it. And uh, But they've got to make shitty colours, because if they didn't have shitty colour combos, you wouldn't have anything to compare the good ones to, and they wouldn't be classed as good, perhaps. I don't know. Um, they're okay. Left shoulder pad that's, that stands out a little bit. Again, all armor from Destiny 1 and any that you see. This is based on real old old arm, knight armor design. If uh, the guy was right-handed, he'd face the enemy using his left, so he'd have like a, a heavier left armor on his... He'd have more armor on his left left side on his left arm uh, usually on his shoulder and sometimes it raised up to cover his left side of his neck and face so he'd have like a right a raised armor set on the left side and that's because when you when you're right-handed you swing with the left facing your enemy so it needs more protection 
and then obviously you're swinging from the right with a blade. So that's why some arms that you see have this asymmetrical design and lean more armor to one side and that's because it's historically correct so that's that's pretty good but it, it does look like a it don't look like armor does it it's like you've got the white crop top here and then you've got the the the, the skating pad arm pads it's like i'm going for a skate and then i've got my bmx arm on so i don't know it's uh, like i said i'm glad i've got it though you know it's, it's another full set so it will like look at the resistance on that bad boy full resistance on this piece that's because we've got resistance or recovery see i put one in recovery there just because i've got nothing in recovery so far um and oh a lot more we can have here look reload speed for power weapons nice 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 i i mean the handling ones are good but i'd, I'd definitely go for the reload ones because I'm, I'm noticing the big increase when you attach at least one mod so if you attach a couple of reload mods to the same weapon type you can have a great time so there's a chest piece again a bit of brown leather some belt straps and some kinky crop top wear no, no problem and uh yeah it's, it's fine you know it's not it's definitely one of the worst looking sets I've seen, but what can you do? Okay, down to the legs. Again, uh, more resilience there, but additional mobility or resilience. Uh, no mods for the boots, oh dear me. Uh, I like the belt, look at the belt. You've got your bullet clip, you've got your utility pouches, you've got, well, they slots of additional utilities or magazines and then you've got the big slugs here uh or large bullets large caliber bullets 50 cal or slugs i don't know and um i mean it's, it's fine it's, it's okay it's not again it's not the best it's fine yeah whatever and uh okay so we've got the cloak i like the cloak i like the design of the cloak you know it's cool it's like it's actually symmetrical, but it looks a bit asymmetrical. Well, it's, no, it's actually asymmetrical. Okay, I like that, I like that type of design. Yeah, that's fine. It's okay, I suppose. I can't wait to show the Aaron Knight set, guys, which will be in a separate video after this one. Uh, but what I wanted to do is quickly... Well, first of all, there's... Uh, yeah, I wasn't going to buy any silver originally, but I want the medallions, and I've there's some some armor pieces she sells. You only get them at level 10, but it seems like it might be a nice set. I've only seen the cloak so far, but my friends had... Um, yeah, the, the armor set of Optimus set. You know, I think it might do something special because apparently when you delete this, it's worth quite a chunk. Like 800 it costs to buy. Holy shit, that's going to get through my 5,000 that I wanted to spend, well, which I'll buy shortly. Um, so the Midnight Talons. talents. Now, this don't look as good on this armor set, but on the Erin Knight set, we've got full body plating. It's a full metallic metal gold and silver built in with grey and white. I mean, it's absolutely phenomenal looking. Um, uh, shaved set and I don't have any of it yet so I'll be buying that it looks better on other arm sets I'll show it on the air at night video then we've got the Metro Shift which again is another set looks pretty damn good um, again this is probably the worst arm set I can show any shader on because the arm set's so bad <laughs> that, that any you know even even the shaders don't improve it that much but much better than the brown guys much better than the brown and that's the set I'm wear, I wear most of the time the Golden Trace I've got that on I've got that on the Road Complex set on the Dragon Shadow exotic piece, and I've got it on the Errant Knight Arms. Now, the Errant Knight Arms, when I show that video, are going to be a different shade of colour to the full set because I've been wearing the Errant Knight Arms because I don't have the Road Complex Arms, which annoys me. Well, the, the arms are the only things I don't have. Okay, real quick, guys, I'm trying to get through these videos a bit quicker than I normally do. Sometimes I tend to chat Looking on a bit. I know it's annoying guardian. when you guys don't give a shit about what I've got to say, you just want to see the goods, yo. Uh, so this is monochromatic this is new one I got and this looks fantastic on the armor sets um, I mean it even makes that look kind of semi acceptable but like this this I monochrome know, black and white looks phenomenal you on the other good looking armor sets looks absolutely phenomenal so I can't wait for that hope to get more of that so I've got one might tell us about that the day and I ended up with one golden trace um, cerulean Club divide there's another the legendary we'll look through any legendary shaders that's not too bad. I think on the right armor set, this green might actually work. I, mean, I want to like it, but I just, it's got a, the brown and the design. 
it gives it a 1970s feel. And let's let's just be honest, 1970s, 1980s were not the best time for developing technologies. Where not only the functionality, but the look of it. You got the gross watermelon. Damn it. Oh, uh, but yeah, so it, it reminds me too much of 1970s. But the Vanguard Vanguard Mangus Gloss. That doesn't look too bad, I suppose. Man, you know, I tell you, looking at these metallic and glossed over camos, I actually, it really hurts my eyes. It really hurts my eyes. Don't know now we've got the Hake history polish. This so this is based on some of the Hake designs for the for the weapons themselves. Ah, the fr oh, no, nearly used it. Frumious Blue. I want to use this. I want the Frumious set from my core ray. I think you actually can access her after when you get the tower back, spoiler alert. I'm gonna go on Meteor Gloss, the legendary. I like how it applies it to the weapon as well when you're looking at it. It's kinda cool. I am here for you, of course. But anyway guys, uh, I think we'll leave it there. You know, there's nothing oh tiny scoppers gross. Wars actually, come wow, it actually looks okay on this. There's none of that horrible green sticking out everywhere. Okay, guys. So there we go. The uh, Icarus Drifter full set. 1970s Booya Shakalaka. <laughs> no, 1970s BMX Fighter Pilot Cross Combo <laughs> Armor Set. Um, it's okay. Uh, you know, there. Yeah. It's nice. It's, yeah. No, I don't like it. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to keep it for the time being because it's a full set. What can I say? Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching, hope you enjoyed the video, I'll be back with the Errant Night set very soon, cheers.